Okay, so what I want to do here is give you four or five or six cards that you need to keep an eye on if you're doing a yes or no spread slash question. They are not yes or no cards, <laughs> but they're important. So here we go. Hangman. Look at dude over here <laughs> and he's hanging by his ankle. <laughs> What's he going to be doing? Uh, that would be nothing. Hangman is delay. Usually it suggests that there is going to be a delay that you can't control because dude is hanging by a rope and likely he didn't tie it on himself. Nine of wands. You've got a guy and he looks like he's standing guard and he looks like he's waiting for something to happen. So what this suggests is that you need to wait. There may be information that may be coming, so wait. Uh, what else? Mmm, five of cups. So you've got a woman and she's wrapped in a cloak and she's looking just betrayed or she's having a major salt fest, I don't know. The five of cups is betrayal. So if you're asking a yes no question and you get five of cups, it may mean that you will be betrayed if you choose to get it or get involved or whatever it is. La, 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 la. Let me give you an example. Well, say uh, you see something, I don't know, a piece of electronics, and you've been eyeing it for a while, and you picture yourself going off into the sunset with whatever this is, and you buy it, and you take it home, and it's just a piece of crap. And you're just like, yeah, five of cups, betrayal. So, what else? Five of cups, five of swords. <laughs> you look at the card, and it's... Got this mean girls aspect going on, <laughs> except for it's guys. Like, but this sort of overall energy of the Five of Swords is limitations. So something that you have no control over will place limits on whatever that is that you're asking about. Okay, so let me give you an example.